Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, December 30th to the 31st intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like shares and subscriptions if you guys are interested in a personal reading with me that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below don't forget to comment as well let me know if this resonates i want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever i upload a video or go live all right, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you. I'm going to get a channel message in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot, the star. Aquarius energy, Pisces. The queen of cups. The Three of Swords. This is coming out a lot today for people. And one more. The Ten of Wands. So is this card. We have Judgment at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what Spirit has for you today, Pisces. I got Fearless for you. That's the word that I got for you today. That's your energy right now. Very Fearless. Mm. There's a small window of opportunity that will be presented to you, Pisces. Take it. Utilize this fearlessness within you to take this leap. You will see this as a risk. But it's a risk that will pay off. You just need to believe. Say, stay vigilant. Make sure that you're noticing everything around you because this window of opportunity is very narrow. You don't want to miss it. If you're not paying attention, you'll miss it. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. wonder what's through that door, Pisces. Judgment. So that's um, reconciliation of the soul. Sort of a reunion with the soul. Or it could be a reunion with a soul mate. Um, or somebody from the past. So we'll see what's up here. So obviously you've been healing. Or this healing, if you feel like you've healed from something, I feel like it's resurfacing. And it's doing this for, for many of the signs for some reason. Okay. Ah, all right. It's the full moon today in Cancer. Full moons are about shedding. Take this opportunity to shed this weight, to heal whatever is, is coming up again within you. Okay, this needs to be purged here. This weight needs to be dropped. It's just, it's not worth it. I feel like some of you are making a wish upon a star. That's what I'm hearing. With the star card here, wish upon a star. This is regarding love. This is, um, you could be putting out exactly what you want into the universe, right? The attributes of somebody. Um, I don't feel really it's like a specific person. I feel more it's attributes. It's, I mean, it, I, I'm also feeling they just said looks, right? So 
like I said, I don't feel it's a specific person, but you may want somebody tall, for instance. So you're asking for somebody tall. Whatever is important to you, this is this wish that you're going to be making. Ooh. Okay. They just said your wish will be granted. So let's see. Look at this, the Empress, and this is clarifying the star. Talk about, because the Empress, whatever the Empress touches turns to gold. So your wish will be granted. Wow. You have two of swords here, clarifying the star, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah. You're no longer feeling stuck, or you won't. Once you let this go, that's what I'm feeling. Once you let this go, whatever this is, okay? Whatever's popping up for you, you're purging. You're purging. And I feel this has kept you stuck. This is something that's kept you stuck here. But you're unsticking yourself. <laughs> Unstucking yourself? I don't know. You know what I mean. You're not in this stalemate position anymore. Through this wish in Pisces, you, you have to know you are a master manifester, right? You know how to manifest. It's through the emotion of this wish, okay? And the desire that's going to bring this to you. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. This is your energy here. Yeah? The Ace of Swords. You're going to become clear about exactly what you're looking for and it's through this healing that's giving you this clarity the fool yep you're going to be ready to take a leap of faith on somebody well whoever you're wishing for they're coming i feel like they'll be here in 2021 queen of swords you're going to cut out what no longer serves you And that's also some clarity that you're getting through this healing. Tell me about this broken heart. Six of Swords. See, you're finding peace. Through strength. You're going to rise, Pisces. You're rising. You're rising and you're shining brightly. The lovers. Yep. Yep. I told you, you're going to, you're going to rise. You're going to be strong enough to find the peace within you to heal. And through this healing, you're going to know exactly what you want in a love situation. You're no longer going to be getting in your own way here. You're going to clear the way and pave the way for love to enter your life. That's beautiful. And what about the 10 of wands? What is it that you're releasing? The nine of cups. When you release this, okay, this is the other wish card. When you release this, it's like there's more clarity in relation to this wish, okay, that you will be making. Mm. Temperance, healing. Yep. Healing, embracing the new. It's like you're, you're simultaneously doing this. So, <laughs> That's a master manifester. It's like dual. You're very much like Gemini, right? Gemini has got this duality going on, but so do you. Nobody really talks about that a lot, but I, I feel it with you, like that twinny vibe. And I can see it and feel it here where you're doing two things at once. That's amazing. That's a magician. That is the magician. Temperance, you're healing. And temperance is about alchemy, right? And I also feel with this temperance, you're making the decision to let this go. Because the desire for this wish, for this love, is greater than this hurt. So bravo to you, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles, you're going to stand in your fucking power. You're standing in your power. Mm -hmm. You're going to be looking good, I'm hearing, feeling good, feeling confident. 
and you're rising. That's what I'm feeling that. Two of Pentacles. Yep, that's that decision you're making. You're finding your balance. You're finding your way. That's that doing the two. That's that duality, right? Look, infinity symbol. You're finding that balance. Within this balance is prosperity. You see the number eight. Prosperity. Abundance. Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yep. So tell me about this individual that's coming into Pisces life. I want to know. I want to know. The King of Swords could be a Libra energy. Could be Gemini or Aquarius. But this is somebody who's very business oriented. could be an emperor they're saying yes this is an emperor knight of wands they're going to be, be very passionate um flirtatious youthful ace of cups that's that new love i told you this is not player energy it's not no okay um it's not player energy it's just them getting very very excited it's like the child within them is coming out the knight of pentacles they're going to take things slow because they feel very serious about you. You're going to really connect with this person. The chariot. Cancer energy. And there's that balance again. That connection to the divine Pisces. Beautiful. That forward movement. So what is your advice? The hermit. Go within. That's where the, this healing and this wish is going to be birthed. Okay? You're about to give birth. And it, and it all started with the Empress. Yep. Princess of Swords. Pay attention to the information that's coming in from spirit. Okay? Be that open channel. To be that open channel, healing clears the way even more. Okay? Let me get you... An advice card here from Nature's Magic. Soul Power. This has come up a couple times tonight. Always remember you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Absolutely. You know that. You are the magician. You will be the magician. So get ready, Pisces, to receive, because you'll be receiving in 2021, definitely. All right, Pisces, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a wonderful day. Happy full moon in Cancer, by the way. And I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on The Daily's Pisces. Namaste.